it. Yes. If you wish, my lady, of course. I don't know. Are, you, are you really that tall? Yes, my lady. With Downton Abbey, a new era now in theatres in North America and across the world, the obvious question is if there'll be a Downton Abbey 3. Julian Fellows, the writer of the smash 2019 Downton Abbey film, returns with virtually the whole core cast in the sequel. After six blockbuster TV seasons on ITV in the UK and Masterpiece PBS in the US, the Downton Abbey film series continues the worldwide popular narrative of the Crawley family and their servants. Lady Violet, the Dowager Countess, as Maggie Smith explains in Downton Abbey, a new era that she has acquired a home in the south of France. While the Crawleys depart to the Riviera to investigate Lady Violet's strange history, a film team arrives to make a film at Downton Abbey, which is now controlled by Lady Mary as Michelle Dockery. Because of the grandeur and excitement of the movie within a movie, the Crawleys' devoted servants join in on the action as they tend to the film's stars Myrna Dalgaish as Laura Haddock and Guy Dexter as Dominic West. Meanwhile, the film's director, Jack Barber, known as Hugh Dancy, develops close to Lady Mary, who becomes vital in ensuring the film's success. Downton Abbey, A New Era expands the realm of the narrative while handling over 30 popular characters and several stories. The sequel also ushers in seismic shifts and fresh beginnings for the Crawleys, who are about to embrace the modern world in the 1930s. Will there be another Downton Abbey sequel to continue the plot now that the new era has begun? So here's everything that you need to know about the upcoming season of Downton Abbey. Will Downton Abbey 3 happen? There are presently no plans for a third season of Downton Abbey. According to Julian Fellows, whether or not there will be another sequel is determined by how the public reacts to a new era and how well it performs at the box office. If audiences want more and the cast wants to do more, Fellows recently told Sky News, I'm sure we'll find a way to deliver more. Fellows, who also executive produces HBO's The Gilded Age, says he doesn't mind if the Downton Abbey drama concludes with a new era. We don't mind if it's run, it's closure, we think that's fair enough too. The first two films were released three years apart, however, some of the time was lost owing to the COVID epidemic. If a third film is confirmed, we can better guess when it will be released after production starts. How a new era sets up Downton Abbey 3 There are several ways for Downton Abbey to continue from where a new era ends the plot. Although Maggie Smith, Lady Violet, has ultimately said farewell in A New Era, the Crawleys welcome new members to the family in Tom Branson's as Alan Leach's new bride Lucy. The Bransons also had a new child. Meanwhile, Downton's butler, Thomas Barrow, as Robert James Collier, has resigned, which means Mr. Carson as Jim Carter must return to teach Andy Parker, known as Michael C. Fox, to take his place. The Crawleys are welcomed into the 1930s with all of its turmoil and history. It doesn't, except that time continues to pass and the Crawleys continue to take. Depending on the fellows' intentions, we may see the Crawleys struggle to adjust to modernization as World War II approaches. While this may appear to be a rehash of the show's premise with World War I, the later war was much more directly felt, and watching how the family navigates the possible bodily devastation of their loved ones and how's may be the type of story that viewers would enjoy. The popularity of Downton Abbey has always hinged on the interpersonal dynamics, aka drama, of its characters, and it's just as probable that we may see Mary and Henry struggle in their marriage as the key story element of a third film. What's the plot of Downton Abbey 3? We too have theories, for one thing. It will be fascinating to watch how Lady Mary as Michelle Dockery transfers into more authority in the household before World War II. After all, Mary may one day assume the title of Dowager Countess. Mary's more mellow, sympathetic judgments, with Lord Grantham as Hugh Bonville would never make, have already begun to take shape, particularly in the films. Without a doubt, it will be satisfying to witness Mary mature into a caring matriarch in the 21st century. Aside from Mary's continued travels, there's a chance that American characters may emerge as the Crawleys broaden their horizons to other nations in order to seek both personal and economic partnerships. Not to mention, Downton doesn't shy away from controversial subjects, shedding light on anything from the women's suffrage movement to birth control to post-traumatic stress and post-war atrocities that followed World War I. The third film would undoubtedly focus on events following 1928, as that is where a new era concludes. Everything from the popularity of talkies, sound pictures, to flap addresses may be on show here. 
not to bring up the dark undertones of a restless European continent on the verge of another conflict. All of this creates a dramatic background for the Crawley family as they struggle to maintain their social standing. Fellows believes that time is equally important when introducing a new film. The producers will need to know when a sufficient number of the original cast members are available for, or even interested in, working on another picture. It's difficult to envision a new Downton without Lady Mary's haughtiness, or Mr. Carson's known as Jim Carter's rock-steady presence, for example. Who will return for Downton Abbey 3? The obvious person who will not return is Maggie Smith, because the day Witcher died at the conclusion of the sequel, which has been hinted at since the end of the first film. Never say never to a flashback, but third film. Despite a brief medical scare, Cora is promptly granted treatment and a favourable prognosis, allowing Elizabeth McGovern to return, along with Hugh Bonville as Robert Crawley, Michelle Dockery as Lady Mary Talbot, Captain of Downton Abbey, will come back, as would her sister Lady Edith, played by Laura Carmichael. Other families and extended family members to expect are Samantha Bond as Lady Rosamond Painswick, Alan Leach as Tom Branson and Tuppence Middleton as Lucy Branson with her new baby, who we can only assume will be called Violet after the now dead Dowager. Penelope Wilton will play Isabel Gray, Douglas Reith will play Richard Dickey Gray, Harry Haddon Patton will play Herbert Bertie Belham, Edith's husband and Imelda Staunton will play Maud. Due to the scheduling issues, Matthew Good will not appear in the sequel and the film made up for his absence by hinting at troubled seas in Henry and Mary's relationship which may be a story topic for a threequel if they can get their calendars to match up. Robert James Collier as Thomas Barrow represents a big maybe in the cast. At the end of A New Era, Barrow accepts an invitation from Dominic West's Guy Dexter to join him in America, implying that we won't see West again. Hugh Dancy plays the film's director, Jack Barber and Laura Haddock plays Myrna Dalgaish, a silent film actress who assumes an American accent with Cora's aid and travels to Hollywood to boost her career in the talkies. Nathalie Bay and Jonathan Zarka are also unlikely to appear again as the tale concludes with a handover of the property to the Crawleys. The first Downton Abbey film was released in September 2019, over four years after the TV show ended. Downton Abbey A New Era was initially scheduled for a Christmas 2021 release, however it was moved back twice, first to March 2022 and then to May 20th 2022. If another picture takes two years to make, it's plausible to assume Downton Abbey 3 will be released in 2024. Well that's it for now, make sure that you like our video, please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews and upcoming movies from us, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching the video, we'll see you with the next one.